Who on earth is Meghan Markle? Born and raised in Los Angeles, California, Meghan Markle studied theater and international studies. From 2011 to 2018, Meghan played paralegal Rachel Zane on the critically acclaimed legal drama, Suits. Then, as if out of nowhere, she announced she was to marry Prince Harry and retire from acting altogether. Not your average British royal that's for sure, Meghan is a far cry from the usual Windsor princess. In fact, not only is Meghan older than Harry himself she is also American which goes against the traditional codes of the British royal family. And, that's not even the worst of it, Meghan is also, wait for it, a dot divorcee. Not as scandalous as it was in the past, marrying a divorced American can still cause a stir in some circles. In fact, it was even suggested that the couple wouldn't be able to marry in the acclaimed Westminster Abbey, where older brother Prince William married teenage sweetheart Kate Middleton, due to their precious laws on marriage. For some reason, Meghan's divorce from movie producer Trevor Engelson has been shrouded in secrecy with Meghan saying nothing on the matter. For the English royal family, past relationships and divorces can be a touchy subject, so it's no wonder that Meghan is keeping quiet. So what really happened? Former friend Anaki Pretty claims that Meghan was cold and calculating during the lead-up to the divorce and pulled the rug from under her ex-husband. Nanaki and Megan had been friends since they were two years old, however, Nanaki claims they fell out after she disapproved of how Megan handled her breakup with Trevor, stating, it was such a shock when she told me they were getting divorced. After about three seasons of Suits, she called me and said she wanted me to know because it was going to come out in the papers. Nanaki, who was also the maid of honor at Megan and Trevor's wedding in Jamaica, confessed, what came to light after Trevor and I spoke, ended my friendship with Megan. I think everybody who knew them both was in shock. The court said otherwise as it was revealed that the pair had cited irreconcilable differences as the main reason for their separating. Everyone has a past, just ask Prince Harry. That's right, Prince Harry has a long list of ex-girlfriends, including lawyer Chelsea Davy, who he dated on and off from 2004 to 2011 and model Cressida Bonas. But don't we all? Meghan is certainly no exception and has a few skeletons in her closet that she would probably like to forget. Rumored to have dated professional golfer Rory McIlroy in 2014, McIlroy initially helped Markle complete an ice bucket challenge which was said to have trailed off into something more serious. Meghan has a lot of famous and non-famous friends and even has some serious Hollywood connections. That's right unlike Kate Middleton and Prince Harry's mother Princess Diana, Meghan was already used to rubbing shoulders with the Hollywood elite long before her Prince Charming came along. Meghan is friends with such a wide range of people, it's crazy to think she might even be more famous than Prince Harry. Okay, well that's not true, but she is most definitely well known among her Hollywood and American peers. From Barack Obama and Emma Watson to Larry King and Chrissy Teigen, Meghan is even friends with tennis legend, Serena Williams. The pair first met years and years ago, while both attending the Super Bowl. Meghan asked the tennis ace for some pointers on how to handle fame. Serena Williams later recounted the story and said, her personality just shines, I told her, you've got to be who you are, Meghan. You can't hide. Serena's advice couldn't come at a more perfect time, with Meghan now likely to experience more than double the media interest than she's used to. That's what you get for marrying a prince. Meghan's family is just like any other messed up and crazy family, we all have to put up with it, right? However, when you are in the public eye, family drama is not acceptable, especially if you are about to marry into the British royal family. Meghan was raised by her mother, Doria, and father, Thomas, in Los Angeles. When Meghan was six years old her parents got divorced, with Thomas going on to have more children. Meghan is extremely close to her mother and was spotted with Doria at the Invictus Games, an event organized by Prince Harry for injured veterans. Harry and Doria are said to have a good relationship, with Harry even asking Doria's permission to marry her daughter during the Invictus Games in which she attended and met Harry for the first time. In contrast, Meghan's relationship with her father is a little sketchy with Thomas behaving a little strangely during the build-up to the royal wedding, as well as the fact that he was involved in a staged setup which saw him being photographed in preparation for his daughter's big day. Thomas later backed out of the event and claimed that he did not want to embarrass his daughter on her big day. 
We are sure Trevor Engelson has a mountain of secrets under his sleeves with regards to this crazy family, although she may have left the suit series behind, it doesn't mean that she's not still friends with her ex-co-stars. That's right, Gabriel Macht, Sarah Rafferty, Jacinda Baird and on-screen boyfriend Patrick J. Adams has been extremely supportive with regards to her marriage to Prince Harry and the wedding itself, with Meghan leaving the show on good terms with all the cast and crew. However, before being cast as paralegal Rachel Zane, Meghan was still with ex-husband Trevor Engelson who was said to be jealous of Meghan's close relationships with her cast members. Trevor was also irritated with the amount of time that Meghan spent in Toronto, where the show was filmed, and was said to really battle with long distances. One source told reporters that it was a very difficult way to start married life and that the whole show put a strain on their relationship. Although the pair did not divorce straight away, Meghan's friend and maid of honor, Nanaki Pretty claimed that Trevor made more of an effort than Meghan and that he embarked on many trips, back and forth from line there was a lot of Skyping and FaceTiming going on. Nevertheless, the long distance eventually became too much and the pair separated and divorced. With the reason for the divorce still unclear, it seems likely that this may have been a major part of the decision. Meghan first met Trevor Engelson in 2004, although the circumstances of their meeting are still unclear. At the time, Meghan was low-rate actress, earning money through small acting jobs or stints on Deal or No Deal. Trevor was a Hollywood producer as well as a talent agent, so it is likely that the two met through mutual friends or in and about the notorious Hollywood acting scene. Like most couples, the two began dating, moved in together and married, but eventually divorced. However, Meghan's first meeting with Prince Harry couldn't be any more different. First set up through a mutual friend, Meghan told reporters, I didn't know much about him, so the only thing that I had asked our mutual friend when she said that she wanted to set us up was, well is he nice? Cause if he wasn't kind, it just didn't seem like it would make sense. The two met and immediately hit it off, with Meghan joining the sixth in line to the throne on a holiday to Botswana not long after. It was here where they fell in love, with Meghan's engagement ring sourced not far from where they stayed. Her diva antics. Samantha Markle, Meghan's half sister, doesn't hold anything back when it comes to dissing her sister in public, and has spoken out several times with regards to the romance of Meghan and Prince Harry. In fact, Samantha is even writing a book about it, with a book set to be called The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. That's right, Samantha is none too keen on her half sibling and has labeled Meghan a diva as well as a social climber. Samantha claims that Meghan has barely spoken to her since she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2008 and that Hollywood has changed her, Meghan. I think her ambition is to become a princess. Samantha also insinuated that marrying Prince Harry was Meghan's plan from the very beginning, stating it was something she dreamed of as a girl when we watched the royals on TV. She always preferred Harry, she has a soft spot for gingers. However, Meghan's stylist seemingly disagrees and recently revealed that Meghan was super sweet and very down to earth. She never played the diva actress's card and was always unassuming and kind to everyone in the salon. Who do you believe? It seems Samantha Markle just won't stop talking when it comes to the subject of her half sister, Meghan. That's right, often taped shooting her mouth off, Samantha has had some extremely unkind and negative things to say about Meghan. Samantha, who claims to have raised Meghan while their dad was away working, was sensationally not invited to the royal wedding and hasn't stopped talking about it since. In an interview, Samantha revealed, there are some members of the family who have an air of entitlement about even a wedding invite, I don't understand why we didn't get one, but I don't expect or demand one. Dot however, Samantha soon changed her mind and launched an attack on Meghan claiming that their father was left heartbroken after his recent heart attack and the fact that he could not attend the royal wedding. Samantha claimed there was no actual contact from Meghan and she has not spoken with my father since the heart attack. He was upset. He wanted to go. But his doctor had the overruling opinion he needed surgery. So he's smart enough to know, this is life-threatening it's all been so heartbreaking, and now my father's in surgery. 
We are Trevor Engelson doesn't miss dealing with this crazy family. When Meghan announced her engagement to Prince Harry, she also revealed that she had quit acting in order to focus on philanthropy and various charitable organizations. In fact, Meghan is no stranger to charity work and has often used her platform as an actress to bring attention to the variety of different causes that she works with. When discussing her future intentions, Meghan recently said, What's been really exciting, as we talk about this as the transition out of my career, is that the causes that have been very important to me, I can focus even more energy on. Megan's charity work first began at an early age, and when she was just 11 years old she wrote to Hillary Clinton to complain about a demeaning soap advertisement that she had seen on television. Megan received a reply and the soap company changed the wording in the commercial. Thankfully for her, Prince Harry is much the same and often dedicates the majority of his time working with charities and organizations just like his late mother, Princess Diana, did before him.